Hey guys, this is GunCrazy81 coming at you with another video here today. Today I just wanted to uh, give you guys an update on uh, my Smith & Wesson M&P shield. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about this, uh, this gun that I have. I love this gun. Um, this is unloaded by the way. I'm just going to tell you guys um, what problems I've been having with it. So I got this um, back uh, last year, right around Halloween time. And the uh, first time I took it to the range, I shot it and it jammed up on me. And I just thought it was a uh, just a breaking in um, problem and uh, just continued to roll with it. Well, each consecutive time I shot it, it jammed up on me. And it's been a consistent problem um, for the past year. Uh, just having jamming problems and feeding problems with it. And uh, this is my concealed carry gun. And I recently just took this uh, to the range um, yesterday. I went to the range yesterday and I actually met up with one of my... Uh, YouTube subscribers, I'm not going to mention his name, but uh, you know, he I messaged him and uh, we went sh uh, shooting at the the range down here um, in Colorado that we go to, and uh, he's a big fan of the 40 Smith and Wesson, and he uh, he wanted to try my shield out, so uh, of course I, I I let him try it out, and uh, it jammed up on him quite a few times, so um, I finally got fed up with it, and I decided to uh, call Smith and Wesson. And uh, so I'm going to be shipping my uh, shield back to Smith & Wesson. And uh, I'm not really sure what, what the problem with this is. I, uh, I bought new magazines. I've uh, you know cleaned it out, tried different types of ammo. So I'm not really sure what's going on with it. Um, I'm going to let Smith & Wesson figure that out. But uh, as soon as I get this back in, I'm going to do an, uh, another range update video just to see how this does. Um, it kind of saddens me because uh, I really put a lot of um, effort and time into this gun, getting it broken in and getting some rounds put through it. And that's just been nothing but a failure. Um, not bashing Smith & Wesson. Uh, I mean, I love Smith & Wesson. Love the shield. I had the full size m 40 as well. That's also a great gun. Um, so I'm going to give them you know, opportunity to hopefully fix it and uh, they can take care of the problem for me because I, I can't trust this gun right now. It's not reliable, and I'm not going to carry it. If I need it and it jams up, then there's no, no sense in having that. So what I'm going to do for the time being is um, I'm going to be carrying my, uh, this is my Glock 23. I just bought this uh, Raw Dog Tactical uh, inside the waistband holster for it. It's very nice. This is a 40 Smith & Wesson. Kind of a little bit bigger than what I wanted to uh, to carry, but for the time being, I know my uh, I know my Glock 23 has never given me any issues, and it's always um, been right on par. So, for the time being, until I get get my uh, shield back, I'm going to be carrying my uh, my Glock 23, and uh, you know at least I'll have something to uh, to carry with me. So I'll keep you guys updated on the progress, and um, you know I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So as soon as I get it back, I'll let you guys know. I have my shipping label and everything. I'm going to be shipping it out today. Uh, today's January uh, 11th of 2016. So uh, as soon as I figure it out, and as soon as I get it back, I'll uh, definitely get back to you guys and um, give you guys an update video. It's really frustrating when uh, stuff like this happens. And I have talked to a lot of people that have shields and they've never experienced any issues with it. And they've always had good luck with it, never, no jams or anything. So. Maybe mine's just a, a fluke. Who knows? So we'll see. Uh, I'll get back with you guys as soon as I know. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, wish me good luck on the, on the quest to get my shield fixed. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.